Hello, and welcome to JD Advising's California Bar Exam Essay Guide. The goal of this guide is to help you find an effective and efficient approach to the California Bar Exam essays right from the very beginning. This guide will help you feel confident on test day so that you can conquer the essay portion of the California Bar Exam. If you have any questions about this or other resources we offer for the California Bar Exam, please don't hesitate to contact us. Some of our other resources include a California Bar Exam prep course, private tutoring, essay feedback, and one sheets. If you reach out to us, we'd be happy to speak with you about the resources that can best help you prepare for the California Bar Exam. We hope you enjoy this guide and good luck on the exam. In this video, I want to discuss JD Advising's essay frequency chart, which illustrates the frequency with which each subject has been tested on the essay portion of the California bar exam. The black X's on the chart indicate instances in which that subject was tested by itself, and the colored X's indicate when a subject was tested as a crossover with another subject. There are a few patterns and things I wanna point out about how the various subjects have been tested that we can see from this frequency chart. You can find a copy of the chart in the California bar exam essay guide and also on our website. The first thing to note from the chart is that professional responsibility is tested almost every administration. In the past 20 administrations of the California bar exam, there was one bar exam that did not include a professional responsibility question. So you should walk into the exam expecting to see a professional responsibility question and should study accordingly. Also notice that professional responsibility is often tested as a crossover question. We have seen it tested with corporations, evidence, community property, and contracts. So you should think about the types of issues that you might be expected to discuss should you see professional responsibility crossed over with one of those other subjects. The second note is that agency, partnership, and corporations are now tested under the subject business associations. However, business associations essays tend to test either agency and partnership or corporations. While it's possible to see two or three of those subjects on a single essay, it's not common. So we have separated the subjects of agency and partnership and corporations so that you can see exactly when each was tested. Notice that corporations issues are tested much more frequently than agency and partnership issues. The third point is with regard to crossover essays. As I mentioned, the colored X's on the chart indicate that a subject was tested as a crossover with another subject. Some subjects are tested as crossover subjects more often than others. We've seen professional responsibility, business associations, remedies, trusts, and wills tested in crossover questions a number of times. On the other hand, subjects such as civil procedure, criminal law and procedure, and torts tend to not be tested as crossovers, but are tested by themselves. We will talk more specifically about how each subject is tested in the corresponding portion of this guide. 